Hello everyone, and today is going to be a bit of a rant, so <laughs> race your asses, alright? It's going to be quite a personal one. So, we all know about these particular groups of people, uh, the so-called uh, true leftists. Uh, I'm not even just talking about SJWs, I'm talking about that weird group in the middle between SJWs and people like myself, who have, uh, since Trump's election, suddenly decided that the best way to reform the left, the best way to fight the right wing in elections and in debates is to not just become more rational and, <laughs> hell, let me say it, trademark the sceptic, sceptical, stuff like that, you know, employ logic, employ reasoning, employ good tactics, ethics and morals and convictions as well as to their good arguments that they should have. Oh no, instead, the best thing to do is to become regressive, to become even more partisan and even more tribalistic than even the SJWs or even the alt-right. Now, I'll be honest, the last bit was actually more of an exaggeration. They aren't actually more tribalistic. They're just a tier below the SJWs. But these people, and you all know who they are, the Spinosaurus kin, the outspoken realist, the fox from the West, the creationist cat, all these different people, you know, there's loads of others that I could name, but I've already named some of the bigger ones, or just the most well-known ones, so we all know what we're talking about here. Now, there's a misconception that they're centrists, and they're just thinking, we should attack everybody. No, no, these people aren't about attacking everybody, because if they were about attacking everybody, they would not just be attacking the alt-right, they would not just be attacking conservatives, attacking anything remotely right-wing, they would also be attacking the social justice warriors. Hell, even themselves have some self-reflection, some self-criticism, criticising their peers to make debate healthy to make people not have to live in an echo chamber where certain things are right, certain things are wrong, and that's it, you know. We can't have people becoming too ideologically rigid to the point they become ideologues. But no, that has happened, and apparently since Trump has been elected, now all of a sudden the real danger is not the fact that, you know, social justice warriors, uh, the regressive left, still have a massive hold in the, in the West when it comes to not just the media, but also the universities, and in many governments around the, re the West, just because some countries have more right-wing governments than others, doesn't mean that that influence isn't still there. But oh no, the real threat is to them, and if you don't criticise them, you're part of the problem. You are endorsing these people. You are, in fact, the problem. You have caused these people to rise, even though, as we all know, and it doesn't take a genius to work this out, how Stevie Wonder could see this coming, if you are a regressive leftist, and all you seem to preach is that white people are the devil, white people are evil, men are evil, anything to the right of me is evil, anything that isn't left-wing enough is evil, that we should have safe spaces, that is, which is essentially a word for segregation, that we should have all these stupid, regressive, authoritarian laws, that free speech isn't for everybody, and that some people are more equal than others. Do you not think that maybe that would push certain elements more to the right? That maybe that would push more elements towards the dreaded white nationalists that you claim rationalist skeptics have been endorsing? What do you think is actually being the best endorsement for those ideologies? Is it the people trying to essentially re-establish some basic sanity within the left, people trying to reform it so it can be essentially what it was before this mess, when it actually meant something, when it actually had something good to say, or is it the people who have become more aggressive in an effort to fight other regressive movements? I'm just wondering. And they have to cheek, and they have to cheek, the absolute gall to say that people like me, people like Sargon, people like Kraut have tribalistic tendencies, that we're the tribalists, we have the agendas, yet I'm not the one spreading an agenda here. If I have an agenda, it's to call out bullshit whenever I see it. And right now, I'm calling out bullshit whenever I see it, guys. Because I see a group of people who have made it upon themselves a desire to see this perceived threat, or if a threat, threat that's there, it's very minimal anyway, and they're going to attack it. And if you don't attack that, you're part of the problem. If you are seen to talk to these people, you are endorsing those people, and you are part of the problem. So even if I debate a white nationalist, or have done in the past, if I've talked to one to see what they think, so I can have a better idea on how to debate them, how to defeat their points, oh, I'm endorsing them. I'm essentially allowing these people to become the big threat that they are. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I'm not doing that. And there's a big difference, Tor, between endorsing somebody and speaking with them or just allowing them to speak. 
there is a big difference there. You know the difference, you're just being disingenuous. But to be honest, if I am so tribal, how come I have actually criticised both sides? I've criticised my own side, I've criticised social justice warriors, I've criticised the alt-right and all the conservatives on my channel. Admittedly, it's more against the SJWs, but they're the biggest problem. The world does not have to coat out to your beliefs. The people who are making YouTube videos in this so-called community, which doesn't exist, don't have to make the videos that you want them to make. Kraut doesn't have to go and make videos about conservatives, I don't. We'll make whatever we want, and that doesn't make us evil, that doesn't make us a part of any problem. The problem here is you guys for being tribalistic. I just find it funny though that when push comes to shove, you guys actually can't criticise both sides because some of them claim to fight both sides, but they don't. I don't see you people criticising SUWs whenever they do something really bad. You don't do that anymore. In fact, you've pushed further and further away from us and pull yourselves towards them. You know, those people, those psychopaths who will, if they can, will blackmail you, they will extort you, they will do anything they can in order to silence you. Those people, and some of you were there when we were documenting this behaviour, but you know, anything's better than Trump and white nationalists, right? Anything's better than them, right? You know, you don't defeat extremism by siding with the extremists, right? It would be like trying to defeat ISIS by joining with Al-Qaeda. Seriously, you're self-defeating, you just played yourselves. But anyway, you know, I'm just going to shout into an ether, I'm just going to shout into a void, I will just be labelled a tribalist, that I don't want to talk to people, that I'm not interested in debate, I have an agenda, and so be it. If you want to project, go ahead, project. But still, I will be proven right. So, until next time people, I'll see you all later. <laughs>